in the words of the great immortal prince albums remember those now let me make it clear this isn't a YouTube series where I'm going to be reviewing the latest albums that have dropped within the past day or even week. And not that there's anything wrong with those types of videos. No shade. I mean, I even check out those videos to see if an album is even worth listening to. But to me, at that point at least, can you really review an entire album for all it's worth? Right now, the music comes out like this. Right. People are writing a review in a, in a day. First of all, you can't listen to a, an album and rate it in a day. It's just impossible. Nuances, the, the, all the instrumentation, all the words, what, what is being you know, said in the music, what is it about? Like, it's impossible to do that in 24 hours. And when I see that, I'm like, oh, so this is all just bull****. So, yeah. During a time in which the culture and the marketplace are driven by the latest single, this series is aimed at not just looking at albums, but looking back at albums from the past. As someone who's always been into music from back in the day, I can't believe that some people my age have actually never listened to albums like Songs in the Key of Life, Rumors, or even The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill? That was only 1998! So, this series is just as much, if not more, about revisiting and paying homage to great albums, artists, and preserving their legacy. Now, of course, there's some great recent albums that I just can't wait to review. Lemonade! So, my only rule is that the album has to have at least been a year old. So at that point, I can say that I've lived with the album long enough so that I am revisiting that album. In fact, the albums that I'm revisiting are not only some of my favorites, but I'm reviewing them because I think they deserve so much shine, and I just don't want them to be forgotten. And so, without further ado, because we started it off with the man, I think Prince said it best. Albums still matter. Like books and black lives, albums still matter. Tonight and always. This is Albums, Revisited. The album that we're going to be covering today, it's one of my favorite albums of all time, and it's by one of, like, I think actually my favorite artist of all time, and honestly, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to start this channel. Uh, 